I have disturbing news. <laughs> Scrunchies are back. Oh my God, you guys, welcome to the DIY Designer. Today's episode is funny but necessary because scrunchies are back! Coming on! Let that soak in for a minute. Scrunchies are back. Like, out and about in the public where other humans will see you. Let me direct your attention to exhibit A. Nina Ogdahl, she is featured in Elle magazine, styled in a scrunchie. This is Catherine Zeta-Jones, clearly paparazzi running errands. And next up, we have Selena Gomez. She is wearing a black scrunchie, like at an event, like with a stylist who got her dressed up. Vogue.com and, and Elle and all these different um, magazines also did stories about how the scrunchie is back. And so we're going to make scrunchies today. I know that it might offend your senses, but it's fun and they're actually really cute and since I've made them, I've loved them. Now you must know that not everybody agrees. However, the vast majority are on board. Uh, I tested this theory at work. Take a look. Name, say my name. Oh. No one Guys, say my oh, name. I have huge news. What is what? it? Scrunchies are back! Oh, oh my gosh, that's exciting! Um, I was planning on talking more about my scrunchie and our scrunchies back. Oh, yeah, scrunchies are totally back. They're totally in. She should know. And you know how? You know why we trust Lily? Because she's really fashionable. Oh yeah. Not a bitch. Our scrunchies back? I uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't be part of this. Oh my god, look at these hatties. Look at it. What the? What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I have the most fun job ever with the weirdest people, but Jimmy. Jimmy takes the cake with that scrunchie. I wanna show you guys how to make it because they're super easy to make. If you know how to sew, then this is like easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you don't know how to sew and you don't have a sewing machine, then I'm gonna show you how you could, what you would replace with, with glue. So it's super easy. These are the materials that you'll need. So I cropped this sweatshirt and now I've got this material lying around so it's perfect for scrunchie. It kind of has slightly athletic vibe to it which I really like and it's super soft. So we're going to cut this to create our scrunchie. My daughter stole my um, measuring tape so I have no idea where it is so I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it. If you fold in half then you only have to cut once. And now again I'm gonna eyeball it because I don't know where it went. That's about one inch, two inch, three inch. So that's about four. So there we go. I need to cut this open because we will be sewing that all closed. All right, so this is our length here. This is gonna give us probably even more scrunch than we need. So I'm gonna cut a little bit of excess off. And I will put up the dimensions right here of what a real good scrunchie is once I get my measuring tape back. All right, now what we wanna do is pin this face to face. So when you hear the term face to face, this is the face because this is what we want to see on the outside. So anytime that you sew, you always want to go face to face. That way when you create your seam and you flip it inside out, it's clean finished. I'm going to just fold it together and we start pinning. Okay. Now on one end, you want to actually fold it back and then pin because this is then gonna be a clean finished edge. You'll see when we're done why you wanna do that, but just do this to one side. See that, fold it over and then pin it so you're gonna sew it closed like that. If you don't have a sewing machine, this is when you would take your fabric glue and you would create a very thin line all the way down, pressing it down all the way, all the way to the very end. But I wanna sew mine, so now we sew. Now there's something I forgot to mention that's super important. It's called seam allowance. When I sew down here, I need to have a little bit of excess fabric on the other side of the stitch so that there's enough strength. Otherwise, the threads will just pull apart. So you usually wanna give yourself about a quarter of an inch. So you always have to add that to your measurements because when you sew it, that's gonna eat into the fabric and it would then be that much smaller. But I am gonna give myself about a quarter of an inch of seam allowance. Okay, it is done. 
I sewed it all the way across. There is my seam allowance. Now what you need is to flip it inside out. So take a big old safety pin. Um, the bigger the better because you'll be able to feel it better. And go on to one end. You're gonna put the safety pin through only one side. And now take that safety pin and feed it inside the casing. You're gonna, you can feel it, it's right there. So you can see it, you're gonna grab it and push fabric, push fabric, push fabric. And then you basically, it's like a sausage casing, you're gonna start pulling it. And this is going to flip it inside out. So keep scrunching and pulling. This is also a reason why you don't wanna make your scrunchie too small because if the inside is too tight, it's very hard to flip inside out. So right around four inches is the sweet spot. So there we go. Keep sliding. Ooh, there she is. So now you grab hold of that and keep sliding. And voila, look at our sausage, our sausage. And we have to cut our elastic. Put it around your wrist. You wanna kind of measure where it feels like it'll be comfortable around your wrist, but with enough stretch. And then I'm gonna add for myself a little bit more cause I'm gonna tie mine um, on the inside and you'll see why. So now just take your safety pin we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just do the scrunch, scrunch and slide all the way in. So go inside, scrunch, and slide. Now make sure to hold on to the very end and never let that go, because if you let go, it'll sling all the way through and you'll lose it. You wanna make sure you hold on to the edge. So now, do you remember how we stitched that one side down and I said it was going to be a clean finish? The reason is that you're now going to take this end and you're going to put it inside of that end. There's no need to have two clean finish edges because one is going to lay over the other. So officially the right way to do this would be to hand stitch this whole thing. But I don't have the energy for that and it's a scrunchie. It's going to get tied up and scrunched around so I don't really care. If you don't have a sewing machine, um, right on the inside of this all the way around is where you put your fabric glue. But I've got my sewing machine. I'm gonna do a quick little stitch. It's, it's fabulous. Look at all that lift. I mean, that's like a pretty legit ponytail bump. Turns out it's functional as well. Um, guys, I hope you try this one out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching these episodes. I really appreciate it. If you think of anyone out in the world that might enjoy them, please share them, subscribe, comment. And if you see any celebrities that you want me to hack, send them my way. Hit me up on social media. I'm at Orly Shani pretty much everywhere. <laughs> really hope you guys do this and tag me in all of your fabulous scrunchy photos. Peace out. <laughs>